Alright, so this is the next video. So, um, yeah, this is the next video. Uh, I'm just looking back at my reference that I made versus this. Right? So, even though this looks like a lot of, uh, you know, it looks like there's enough resolution, right, running across. But it's actually not enough. I need at least one more resolution from what I remember going across here, I believe. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to go across doing this. I want to fix this. This is really annoying the hell out of me right now. It'll be good to see how I fix this too. So, I'm going to hide this, grab that. I'm going to bring it back. Alright, so it still looks kind of wobbly and just, it's just ugly. Alright, um, what did I do? What do I remember doing? I'm pretty sure, right, I wanna, right, right, I wanna split this here. Yeah, so, there's several ways to approach this, right? First thing I want to do is just isolate it. We're using the multi cut tool, right? Shift right click, multi cut. Here's a knife. I have my symmetry still on. I'm gonna just click and snap. Alright, make sure you click and you snap it. Because if not, you're gonna leave two vertices floating around. Click and right around here, midway click eyeball it right around here click eyeball it and then click like that press W okay as soon as I do that number one rule is put it to good use right. so I did this on purpose so you can see just isolating the situation right putting an edge loop, not even an edge loop, just a, a cut segmentation. So you can see working slowly but surely rather than slopping down one whole edge loop at one moment. And how to turn this into a quad afterwards too. Alright, so all right, again, put this to good use. Work with the surrounding areas. Alright from the top down as well maybe I'll scoot that in this part needs to be worked on let's look over here all right I'll lift this up so this is going to be the upper shoulder area all right bit, tuck that down a bit, maybe this area is getting too close, right. getting too close to this edge loop, see how tight it is, and maybe this case I'll just use the modeling toolkit, transform constraint, edge slide, you notice it says slide. It'll slide down like this. Maybe I'll press R now flat flatten it. Even it out. Click outside. Right. I'll turn this off. Alright, so you notice it does this weird causing see this? little bulge over here, little nub, weird shading right here, 
That's because it's a triangle. See, it causes this. So now I'm gonna show multi cut. Click and snap, where you can turn this into a quad. This could have been done just using the multi cut, uh, using the. Um, come on. Alright, so it's not behaving right now because of the symmetry. So I'm going to just press W. And then object mode, shift right click, multi cut again. Click and. Oh, come on, man. I'm going to turn this off. Click and snap. Click and drag. And then click and snap. And now I'm going to delete this. So yeah, I could have done this using the insert edge loop, but I didn't because I wanted to just show. I'm going to turn back object X symmetry. I want to show about isolating the situation. Right. Boom. Boom. Right. Like I said, oh, delete that. Wait a minute. Let me undo that. Undo. Okay, so I undo that. What I want to show is this. So this was where I left off, right? Where I did a multi cut. Now, what I can do also is turn on multi cut back on. I'm just gonna cut here, here, here. You'll notice that I'm gonna turn on edge slide, slide this back, slide this back, and you'll notice that this is now four sided. And you'll also notice that, okay, let me just polish this out, pull this down, okay. and then pull this down, pull this down so it levels out, pull this up a bit, and then pull this way, pull this way, right. now you have a topology where it's looping around. Ba, 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 ba. This is what else I will I also wanted to share. See? It's isolating the situation where it loops back around into itself, into a ring. You know, having the train tracks that I need. And to so that way I can refine this upper shoulder area to give it more oof. Uh, or surface area. Anyway, so okay, and from there, right? But this part is still kind of pinching. But see how it's not doing that weird little nub here that little kind of pokes out of it. See, slightly over here. What I want to do is uh, make sure I have edge on, edge slide. I'm just going to massage this. Make sure you have your symmetry on. All right, I don't like how this is so close. So I'm going to pull this down a bit. All right. This is getting really close. This is farther. slide so I'm looking at my vertical wall my side straighten that a bit 
this part right here. Yeah, we can tuck that out. We can round it. This part right here. See these lines? I can tuck that and pull it back a bit so it wraps around. Maybe here. And maybe I'll pull. here it's doing some weird stuff but I can fix that maybe I'll pull this down a bit I kind of don't like this it's trying to irk me flatline it keep it simple give it more of a puffy chest and give it Accentuate the back, make it more fun to look at. I don't like this doing this. I want to nudge it down a bit, ba 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 ba. Pull it back a bit. Play around with the shape, the silhouette. Well, make it more fun looking. bit of a belly boop there you go maybe I'll tuck this in a bit maybe I'll tuck this out a bit there you go nice beanbag shape and then whoop so the eyes kind of follows and travels maybe this I'll tuck this out a bit See, see, that one little correction uh, or modification that I did that took what 13 minutes. I mean, I am explaining myself, but you need to take the time and effort. It's not something where you just slap together really quickly, especially when you're first learning. I'll put that in a bit. this pull this back a bit pull that back a bit and so check out from the top down right here this part skewing in shit all right so it's doing this <coughs> little glitch where you see the shell right the low poly shell and inside the smooth proxy the smooth uh, preview Right, this is super irking. What you want to do is uh, go to the attribute editor, <sighs> smooth mesh, and then turn off displacement, and then turn on open subdiv, Catmull Clark, the middle one. All right, so it, this will happen a lot. So just uh, remember what I just did to get out of that because it will annoy you all right so I did that okay next let me turn on my good example right. hardened edges all right what do I remember doing So I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right, 10, I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, I have 
here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up until the borderline for the back of my the ending line segment for my back right here. So that was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm just double checking. Let's see over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, looks like everything is on point, just slightly different. Everything's matching up. Um, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. notice here I had sloped it down more see let's go turn on edge slide we'll slide this bad boy down slide this bad boy down okay this is a good example of making use of uh, all of your um, lines see instead of just leaving it up there now I've made more use of it turn it off I'm gonna pump this out pump this out pump this out reason why is this is my side wall of my rib cage right remember that's why I'm pumping it out so you can See the difference there. And that's pretty much it, right? I'm looking around some more. I feel like some areas here are getting kind of tight, so maybe I'll grab this and this. All right? See the stretching. So. Show my other model. All right. Hmm. All right. Press four. This guy right here. I'm gonna grab this chunk. Right, I'm gonna pull it like that. Grab this chunk. Pull it like that. So we get this area. I mean, this is the collar. See, this is what I mean by need to have good sketches I don't know what I'm looking at I have to imagine the inside of the body I'm just assuming that's the inside of the rib cage that should do it I'm changing, modifying this because of the faces. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, looking 
looking from the top down see if there's anything I can kind of tweak maybe I can grab this area this is, will be the lumbar right. maybe I can lumbar slash hips area side wall of the hips maybe I can pull it forward So this will be the, when this runs down, this will be the thigh running down. The thigh running down this way. So it needs to have some more uh, meat to it, see? See the th side of the thigh wall is going to have a lot of surface plane. Make this edge a bit. That, pinch that in a bit. Pull that out a bit. Make this right here. You know, pull this a bit. Give it some room. Yeah, so it's doing this stupid crap again. Alright, so this we're pinching. Right, see right here. Basically, you just gotta carefully go in, give a small nudge. Go in, give it a small nudge to poke it out. Just a very small nudge. Sometimes it just doesn't want to go away. there. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. 